I'm worried I need to duck for cover because the world may be getting ready to end because I've got with me on camera Esther Kim, whom I have been trying to get on this show for years. I'm not exactly Actually, yes, quite literally years, yes, I believe, no. at this point. Yeah, and, so. And here you are. This is Hi, great. I'm here, yeah. I, I feel like I want to ask you about all kinds of stuff. Esther yeah. is a comic book expert, and she's a wonderful person on top of it. Comic book fan, comic book fan, yeah. We'll keep it at that. <laughs> well, I mean, but you blog and you make appearances. In fact, um, quiet as it's kept, Esther and I sat on a panel together. We did. At the, yes, you know, and it was great. I said, because that made me feel like an expert because I was with her. Ha, 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 Says the man who sat next to Phil Lamar. Uh, was it Phil Lamar during his panel? Um, and I look up and I'm like, oh my God, Phil. And then I'm like, oh my God, Yuli. <laughs> so, yeah, no. Huh. I, I love how we're like throwing each other yeah, this stuff. Yeah, no, this no, is no yeah. But like you, you've touched like godhood in the form of like Phil Lamar. So, yeah. But, you know, but you're all over the internet. I mean, you're doing, you, you uh, blog yeah. and... You're serious about women's issues in comics. Oh my God, yes. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, no, so I mean like, uh, I'm not like, rum, 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 but you know, like, it's a burgeoning industry that's entering into mainstream, and so you're gonna get a lot of new interests, and a lot of that new interest is gonna be women, in addition to all the female fans who have been here this entire time. So, you know, at a certain point, you gotta start figuring out how you're going to make the place a welcoming world for not just your male fans, your teenage male fans, but also like your female fans, uh, mothers, sisters, daughters, uh, lady woman, uh, women who are men, men who uh, were women. <laughs> so on and so forth, you know? Like, the world is a wide place, and why not have everyone love comic books, you know? Well, and also for ethnicities, you know? I mean, I'm black, you're Asian, you know? What? What, what, what? in that? Seriously, Yuli, what? <laughs> no, no one told me. <laughs> but, but what in the heck is going on in the industry as know, far as, yeah. you know, I, I mean, what, what's happening? Uh, I mean, I couldn't really say. I, you guys seem to have a better grasp of, like, the editorial decisions that seem to be made uh, top down and all that. But, yeah, it's just, it's a little weird when we're in the 21st century and not just in like TV and stuff and movies which you've written off but like comic books um, we've lost a lot of the diversity that was around in the 80s and 90s and I understand that 80s and 90s were the after school special time so you had your one of each and then it was like a token group but at the same time that's like literally like a hundred times more diversity than we're even seeing nowadays and uh, yeah I don't know like I think we're, we're fighting the good fight and trying to get, you know, diversity in every single way, gender, race, like, you know, class, what have you, in there. But you guys, you gotta keep working on it, you know? Yeah. Well, and that's up to all of us. Yeah. But see, that's why it's so vitally important that you come on the show, you know? I mean, no, seriously, I mean, because, you know, it, it's important for viewers to see someone who is as knowledgeable as you and from someone who frankly looks like you, you know, on television and, you know, talking about the issues that you're talking about, you know? I mean, because, and nobody can do it but you, Esther. No, nobody can do you. it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no. So, I mean, like, same for the project you've got going on, Fantastic Form and everything. Like, it's a voice for DC's community, you know? So, it's nice. Well, I appreciate that, and uh, you know, if uh, if you had you know one personal issue connected with the comics industry above what we just mentioned that you could talk about, what would it be? I mean, do you really want to get me started? <laughs> do you really want to get me started? I want to get you started. Okay. I want to wind you. Oh, uh, one word: reboot. Why? Or that's two words. Okay, three. <laughs> seriously? Like seriously, reboot? Seriously? <laughs> Um, like, I, yeah, I kind of want to, like, paraphrase uh, Matt Fraction and Hawkeye, but, like, like, aw, uh, DC, no. Like, just with the reboot of the reboot, and then um, just not, it's, it doesn't, it's not long-term thinking, you know? Like, as the state of comic books are now, um, and as the state of the entire publishing industry stands, what I think is you do the long range thinking, you try to see where you're gonna be like 10, 20 years down the line, and you build on like all the different mediums that are merging together now, like the movies, the cartoons, the books, you know, uh, online, digital, everything like that. You gotta, you gotta have a long range plan that really, you know, that really takes into consideration all of those different mediums and all the different audiences you're getting with all those different mediums, you know? 
you can't just concentrate on one or the other. Um, and you can't just decide that one medium is for one demographic and another medium is for another. You know, that is the most narrow-minded thing I can think of. And unfortunately, that's what I'm seeing out of mostly DC. It's not like Marvel is, you know, innocent of it either. And it frustrates me because I love comic books so much. I want to, to be around in a good state 50 years down the line. I want my kids, my grandkids, and my grandkids' kids, and like, I don't know if aliens attack and we like hybridize with aliens. I want my hap hybrid great grandchildren reading them too, you know? So, like, hey, it's, it's love of comic books. I don't want to turn to an angry comic book man, but you know, you guys, reboot, really? So yeah. This is why I have been trying to get this woman on the show. <laughs> you know? So you absolutely, in fact, you know, you, you really need to host the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, yeah, no. Are you stepping down from your throne, sir? <laughs> hey, hey, it's a rotating spot, you know? <laughs> I mean, and there's plenty of room yeah. up on the DS. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you, yeah. yeah. I would, I do like a uh, good Game of Thrones kind of battle royale, so yeah, let's do it out sometime. <laughs> okay, now, all right, so I, I have, I am getting your promise here in front of the viewing audience oh that you are going to come on this show before the end of season four. I promise that I will do my damnedest to get on, um, but as, I mean, he'll tell you too, like, we try to jumpstart this right here, right now, today, like what, three or four times? <laughs> and like, it's just, it's been crazy, you know? So yeah, 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 yeah. But Yuli, you know I love your show and I love all the people that in the community you build. So yeah, I'll do my best. Well, you know, you have demonstrated to everybody you know, how capable you are and how deserving you are. And, and I tell you what, there are people out there who have heard you now when they're like, I want more of this. Who is this Esther Kim? Where can I find more? You you got a website, right? Uh, I do, but hey, Phantom Comics, dude. Like, uh, I'm here as an employee. I run events, you know. Uh, we do kid stuff, we do adult stuff. We do ladies night, ladies. Um, so yeah, it's good times, and hopefully I'll see you around the store sometime. Right. Yeah. Now that's wonderful. I love you plugging Phantom yeah, Comics, yeah. but let's plug Esther Kim. Yeah, no. Well, to be fair, like the the blog is a little defunct right now, and so um, Phantom is kind of like the best place to find me right now. If you're talking like geeky stuff, so yeah, yeah, yeah. which is why um, I haven't really been plugging my own blog, but District of Geeks on Facebook, um, District of Geeks, as opposed to District of Columbia, because, you know, and yeah, hopefully there's like braver, brighter future things in the future, you know, yeah. I am confident that is the case, and we're going to do it together. Awesome. Let's do it. This <laughs> is <laughs> One of the twin powers <laughs> activate. <laughs> what, water? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Well, that means I got to be some kind of funky animal. Yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, okay, all right, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, let's do it again. All right, all right here we go. Ah! Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's great.